morning, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I have to tell you that I've been really interested in making sure that uh, you understand some of the processes that I work with that uh, can help you on a day-to-day -day level, too. So the first thing that I like to encourage people to understand are their emotions. Our emotions play such a big role in our lives and a lot of people um, either just label themselves as emotional people or they will say that I don't have much emotion about things or they know that I'm a worrier or I have a lot of grief or I have some sadness or I'm basically a joyful person, whichever way, but there's some awareness of our emotions and especially if we pay attention and this is what I like to encourage people to do to pay attention to their emotions to see how they feel on a day-to-day -day basis and which are the emotions that stand out the most or come up the most for individuals. So I found that when I was trying to summarize what I would share with you today I wanted to talk about emotions is again the area that I work with first and then if we look at emotions long enough and understand them and really process them, we start to realize that it's our mind that is then fed by our emotions that then brings on thoughts. And our thoughts are, of course, what many people are plagued with throughout the entire day because our mind thinks. And the mind thinks, so those thoughts come. And again, there's that interplay between how we're feeling and then how we're thinking. So I start with, uh, emotional uh, processing with people, usually with grief recovery. And then I move into brain retraining because now we're looking at the mind and how we're thinking and why we're thinking what we're thinking. First, we work through what are the emotions that we're feeling and why are we feeling those emotions. And then we think about why are we thinking the way we think and what are the thoughts um, based on and what is the way to retrain those thoughts. And then finally, I look at things like transformation and transcendence. And this moves us into a spirituality direction. This is a higher understanding of our purpose. So I found this quotation and it's by, who is this? Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. And this quotation says, Man is not born to solve the problems of the universe, but to find out what he has to do within the limits of his comprehension. Okay, so here's the quotation again. Man is not born to solve the problems of the universe, but to find out what he has to do within the limits of his comprehension. So do you know that if a person doesn't understand their emotions, there's no way for them to move forward, in my opinion, in terms of working through their lives because they're not understanding that basic emotion. This is the emotion that I feel and this is why I'm feeling it. This is what I need to process. Then I came across another quotation, which I, I guess I'll leave you with that. I'm going to make sure that you understand this whole limits of his comprehension. So again, remember feelings. If a person doesn't understand their feelings and emotions, then they might not move into understanding their thoughts and the reasons for their thought process or their thinking in general. And then finally, they might not understand their purpose in life. And this again takes various stages of training to try to understand this in a stepwise process. Otherwise, it just becomes quite overwhelming for a majority of people. So I found this very interesting in terms of this limits of his comprehension depending on how much you know or what you understand, will determine how you move forward or whether you stay in what feels like a very stuck spot. And this is what I love to help people work through. So I came across another quotation, which I quite liked, and I thought I'd share that with you to end this video today. This quotation says, the mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. This quotation is by Fyodor Dostoevsky, and again, it is, the mystery of human existence lies not in just staying alive, but in finding something to live for. And this is where I love to move into this life of purpose. There's a purposeful life gives a person a pers something to live for. This is so useful in our lives. And again, I believe that this sort of experience often has a process of transformation that happens and a lot of people are going through 
transformation today. Some people knowingly and some people not knowingly and some people even knowingly don't know what to do with it. And this is where I believe spirituality comes into place because somehow we all have some sort of higher awareness of our purpose. And I love to help people get to that magical place to understand this mystery of human existence. So I leave you with those thoughts and I hope for five minutes after this video, you can see where you might be in this process. Are you in the, I need to understand my emotions because that should be the first baseline um, that you try to take care of. And then are you able to think about how you think and think about your emotions or think about your life experience? How do you think and why? And then if you're in that process of transformation, as you're busy thinking about how you think, maybe meditating on it, which is what I'd recommend, then recognize that there is a purpose for you. And are you able to get in touch with a higher source, a higher consciousness, a higher level of thinking that allows you to see your purpose? I wish you that fun exercise after this video, just to gain five minutes to find out which one of those three stages might you be in. And if you need any help, you know how to reach me. I wish you a fantastic day ahead. And remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.